Whether or not is filmed before a live guinea pig studio audience. Good morning, everyone. Hey, listen, I want to put together something that's short and sweet, uh, trying to show you uh, exactly where CO2's place is in the climate relative to everything else. Uh, as far as um, uh, the tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico, you go to weatherbell.com, talking about it over there. May snow in the mountains of uh, New England and upstate New York, at least in the air, Monday and Tuesday. There's a lot of weather going on. And uh, the severe weather aspect is uh, much reduced in the upcoming week or two compared to what it has been. The very, very cold uh, May that we had across the western and northern part of the United States versus the warmth in the southeast created the clash. But it, when it comes to tornadoes and severe weather, cold is what is the big culprit because if you go back and you look at the big years the big maze with tornadoes there's always a lot of cold air around close by and uh, that was a big problem okay but i, w I wanted to do this here um <clears throat> relatively uh quickly uh first of all uh the book the climate chronicles that's my book if you get a chance uh, go out and take a look at it um, it's actually doing pretty well out there on amazon i didn't put it in bookstores because I don't know how to put it in bookstores, but <laughs> I'm not a very bright person with, with uh, things like that. I never, I, you know, it's it's funny because my father used to say, you know, if you have to tell someone you're good at something, you can't be that good at it. So every time I plug my book, I said, well, if people don't know about it, can't, you know, I, I feel kind of weird about it. But uh, in any case, it's a good read. There's a chapter that describes exactly what they're up to with the weaponization of the weather. Okay, I think I've shown this before. This is really a cool uh, graphic. 78% uh, of the atmosphere is nitrogen, 21% is oxygen, and then the other uh, makeup is down here. And uh, we got a close up, we got to go into a close up to see where the man made CO2 is. All right, so see that right over there? So let's take a look. At like okay i can't put I just turned off the audio man-made co2 okay so co2 is 0.04 percent of the atmosphere that's 0.00004 of the atmosphere i give you 0.01 times 0.01 or 0.04 times 0.01 the man's contribution is right here 0.01 percent of the atmosphere that's all man has put in all right, and uh, when you look at the, uh, the radiation, uh, what, what CO2 absorbs radiation, a very, very narrow band, and is most effective where it is wickedly cold, minus 60 to minus 80 C, which is way, way up at the top of the uh, you know, atmosphere. So uh, it, it's, it's, really, it's really difficult to get your hands around the idea that in relation to everything else, uh, CO2 is a big deal. Now, let's look at water vapor and the greenhouse gases themselves, okay? Okay, so we, we looked at what the amount, let me get this back over here. We looked at the amount of the atmosphere that C, is CO2, 0.01%. But when it comes to, uh, you know, the greenhouse gases, it's, if each one of these little things represents a box, you see that? This is where we are down here. Let me see if I, right over here is man-made CO2, okay? And <clears throat> it's just very difficult to believe that uh, given the entire history of the planet, folks, I want you to think about this. And let me, let me see if I could even put this on. I didn't put this on before. In the entire geological history of the planet, let me take this off because I'm staring over at something else. This is really done professionally over here. All right, well, in the, <laughs> in the entire G, yeah, you get the message, right? I mean, it's not like um, it's not it's it's not like this is brain surgery. I, I it's kind of weird because there are times when I think you see this right over here. Look, uh, uh, the times when I think people try to make things more complex, and a lot of times the simple answers. Are the correct answer. So if we look at the relationship of CO2 to temperature in the entire geological history of the earth, there is none. Now, one could argue, and I actually had, uh, you know, Bill Nye uh, actually argue that the, uh, oops, let me put this on. Uh, 
this see this uptick here and the uptick in temperature all the way over there at the end that's the sign that co2 is now affecting uh, the atmosphere maybe it is maybe it is I I, I just uh, trying to uh, get people to understand that uh, what is going on here oh the sun ah, ah. okay let me block off here um, I'm just trying to get people to understand here that when you Look at the details of the situation. You can at least have reason to question, right? Is, it, is that such a hard thing to understand? All right. And once you question and you look beyond the surface of some of these things we look at, you say, hmm, there may be other reasons for why this is being pushed the way it is. I'm a conspiracy guy now. <laughs> That's it for now. Enjoy the weather. It's the only weather you got.